I'm going to write a report on a data frame that I've downloaded from oli.cmu. Uh, so I started up R. Uh, I've already downloaded the, the file. It's in my downloads uh, folder. And so you can see me checking here to see uh, uh, what I've got. First I'm checking to see what the working directory is and I discover that that working directory isn't quite the right place. Uh, so I set a new working directory. You'll need to use syntax that's appropriate for your operating language. If you're using R, then there'll probably be things like a C colon uh, backslash, I think, uh, uh, Windows uses and so on. But when you when you get the working directory it'll kind of show you the kind of syntax you're supposed to be using. And you've got to know where you did the download to. I did mine to uh, download so I'm going to be able to find it there. Once I've uh, I've set that then I'm just checking again just because I'm uh, paranoid I guess. But So there I am checking to see uh, where that is. And now I'm going to list the files uh, that are in that working directory. The list.files list, uh, I'm sorry this is incorrect. That's got to be list files. <clears throat> Open parentheses. Now notice on all of these that I'm writing some notes out here to the side. That's going to be important in my report because I want to show in my report exactly what the commands were that I was using. So I'm, I'm documenting out here to the side this, this uh, hashtag uh, means that what follows that, uh, what comes after the pound sign is going to, uh, to be a comment and will not be executed uh, by R. So it's a great way to keep track of what you're doing. So there I am looking at uh, the files and we're looking at uh, there's something called a survey or something like that, that that we're supposed to be able to find in here. Um, there's the drinking one that we've done before. Um, oh, there it is, right there. See, that's the file that I'm looking for. So I want to get that file in place. I know already that I'm that this is the working directory. So now I can just plain do a load and uh, student underscore survey r data. Probably a smarter thing to have done there is I could have just copied and pasted that name right in here into the load command. So <clears throat> now we've uh, we've loaded that in, and I'll list to see what that produced. It produced a database. This by loading this uh, this file from from uh, Oli, it produced a data frame called population. So now I can begin to look at the details of of population. I'm going to look at uh, the names that are in this population. And so remember I'm documenting what I'm doing. See the headers in the data frame. And uh, so there's a course, there's handedness, there's sex, there's verbal, there's age. I'll need to to go back because in my report I'm going to want to say what these are and and this really refers to the course of study that's, that the students are taking. This is a, uh, a measurement of whether they're right or left-handed. Uh, this is a gender issue. Uh, this is some kind of a verbal score and, and uh, their age. So I want to be able to explain all of those uh, uh, in my report and I'll want to be able to show these commands that I was using. I'm going to use a summary get summary data uh, summary statistics okay so here in the course that looks like the appropriate kinds of stuff 
uh, there's there appears to be what it has done is build me a table a, a, a frequency table for the information that's listed in the course column it tells me that in social uh, those students that are taking a, a, a social program in their studies there's 539 of them in business 192 and in the natural sciences 398 and so now I'm looking over here at the handedness that's the right kind of data for that as well these are both categorical variables so that's the kind of table data that should be there and of course gender uh, it should be a table va value as well the verbal scores <clears throat> that makes sense that it would be a a five number summary uh, and so on so here's the kind of things that I'm that I'm building here I'm I'm keeping track with these hashtags of what I'm doing so that I can put that information in my report so when you look at my copy of the report you'll see some of those details that are there